Some of the women who say they were abused at a Jacksonville church met with their attorney today to share their stories. To think that it's still standing, or maybe they've just replaced it, like they've replaced all of these victims year after year, I don't know. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker is joining us live. Marilyn, we are learning what the women say they experienced may have happened to other people at other churches. All right, before those women, their experiences started right here at this school and church. The attorney I spoke with, Cynthia Crawford, says what she's learning about other churches, that they may be run by different people or in different cities, but they have similarities in what she's uncovering. The women we spoke with today went to this church at different times. They were members from the 90s and in the 80s and early 70s as well, but they started to recall the different abuse that they witnessed spanning over 20 years. It's an old two-story building boarded up off Old King's Road. The former Jacksonville Assembly of the Body of Christ holds many stories. What happened here, it makes me feel how this place looks. It's disgusting. It should never happen. Elizabeth Dozierell and Jennifer Belanger attended the church and school at different times, but they both remembered the abuse they witnessed from church leaders like Pastor Paul Dial, Jerome Teschendorf, and Vernon Williamson, all charged with capital sexual battery. I think it was 94, 95. Um, Vernon Williamson lived here. It was extremely creepy, inappropriate feelings anytime you know, you would be around him and how he behaved. On this side is where um, Paul Dial and his family lived. I can remember any time you got called up there, you knew you were in some sort of trouble. We've heard stories of all kinds of abuse happening here. While Belanger says she has some good memories, the bad was so bad it overshadowed everything else. The women say they trust attorney Cynthia Crawford with their stories because Crawford was also a member. Paul Dial knows me. I stayed in his house. Vern Williamson knows me. Crawford didn't experience any kind of abuse while at the church. She has stories from more than 15 people alleging abuse, not just here, but within the gospel assembly. It is a network of churches. I've had people call uh, and talk about very similar, very similar actions, very similar ways of life, very similar styles of abuse, sexual abuse, physical abuse in Kentucky, in Texas, in Oklahoma, in California, in Oregon, all over. The women have different experiences. When I was a kid, this place needs to be shut down. It needs to be shut down. So coming here now, finally seeing and knowing that something's being done finally gives me so much joy. But they're working towards one goal. So keep in mind, there is no civil case right now. Crawford says for the women she's spoken with, the statute of limitations is long past a civil suit. So right now, they're focusing on finding more people to come forward and share their stories to contribute to the criminal case. Reporting live on the north side, Maryland Parker Channel 4, The Local Station.